Hello guys, Sanwanani Igamalami Ngingu Abongili Nguya. I am a computer science and a business computing student uh, studying at HUCT and this year I am doing my second year. So in today's video, I'll be discussing a topic that I find quite interesting that people ask me on Instagram, but also here on YouTube, which is, um, I won't get it, do you need mathematics in computer science or is mathematics important in computer science? So I thought that it would be very interesting for me to discuss this here on YouTube. Um, yeah, because it's something that we need to discuss. <laughs> So if you like this kind of videos, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel to get notified whenever I post. Otherwise, um, let's get into the video. Let's get into the discussion, shall we? Mathematics is a very important subject, <clears throat> not only in computer science, but also in um, our everyday life. There are certain qualities that a person acquires from just doing mathematics. Qualities like critical thinking, like reasoning, like problem solving and creativity. These are all characteristics that a person might acquire when they do mathematics. Mathematics allows you to think outside the box. It allows you to tap into another dimension of your brain. So for example, in mathematics, there were so many ways for us to find the angle. There were so many ways to prove that the shape is what the person says or to prove that angles are the same. If you would allow yourself, you'd find out that there are so many ways in order to come to a solution that you actually want. But that is in mathematics. In computer science, do you need mathematics? That's the main question. That's why we're all here. The answer is hell yeah. Yes, you do. Not only do you need mathematics because of the reasons that I've mentioned above, reasons like reasoning, problem solving, critical thinking, or creativity, but you need to remember, guys, that computer science is all about problem solving. It's asking yourself questions like, how can I make a system faster? How can I make a system easier, less redundant, re less redundant or efficient? In computer science, you face a lot of problems. People who know, know. <laughs> People who know, know. You face a lot of problems and errors. You sort of need a skill that will dig you out of that hole and give you like the answers that you want. And that skill can be acquired from mathematics, skills like creativity, like I've mentioned. So I'm trying to validate why you need compute why you need mathematics in computer in computer science. It's creativity to 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 find ways in order to solve errors or problems that you might be facing. Problem solving when you're asking yourself difficult questions, how can I make the system easier, faster, less redundant. These are all skills that you are, are from way, are from major, or not majoring, but are from doing mathematics in computer science, basically. Sometimes the problems that you are facing are mathematical problems that you sort of need maths in order to get yourself out of that problem. Yes. I think a lot of people don't realize this. <laughs> But computer science in its name, we focus only on the computer side of it and we don't focus on the science side of it. Computer science is a science major. It is a science major, therefore like any other science major, you do need mathematics. You, you do need mathematics in stats, in biology, in chemistry, physics, whatever other science major that you might do, you do need maths in that. So like computer science, you do need mathematics because it is a science major. However, programming does not need mathematics that much, unlike computer science. Now this is where it gets interesting. Because you would want to know, okay, what's the difference between programming and computer science thing? Um, I want to discuss this on the next video that I'll post next week because most people don't want to be computer scientists, they want to be programmers. So I want them to understand which, what it does it take for you to be a programmer and what does it take for you to be a computer science because there is a major difference in, 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 in both. The first one is mathematics requirements. Or mathematics criteria yeah well so I want to discuss it in depth so make sure you did really um, subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting it the next time that I post right 
but for now I just want to give you guys a brief explanation of the differences between computer science and programming so because I'm very kind I'm just gonna give you guys the main difference between computer science and programming so programming focuses mostly on execution and implementation so they are the ones that give us the final product they are the ones that give us the, the application the website or the game that we are playing yes they're the ones that basically give us the final product whereas with computer scientists they're the ones that come up with the, with the, the system that programmers use let me give you guys an example um, in our code we use the word print we might use the word what's the other word print okay we might use the word print let me just stick to print I don't know my, my brain just flashed oh we might use the word in we might use the word um, now whatever we might use these words <laughs> okay we might use these words right basically programmers just use this keyword and then they move on with their program right whereas computer scientists they have to come up with the algorithm to produce the keyword print right so in computer science python 10 10 15 we did um, different types of searching methods so we did linear search we did binary search and also jump search so basically as you go down the more efficient and faster the method is so you can see what computer sciences do they look at linear search how can i make linear search more efficient than binary search was formed how can i make binary search more efficient than jump search was formed so basically um, um what's this basically computer science came up with these systems like remember i told you guys i asked i, I told you in the beginning that computer science always asks themselves how can i make a system more efficient and takes less time basically faster so can you understand now which why do you actually need maths in, in, pro, in computer science and you don't need that much in programming the maths that you probably need in programming is maybe your grade your first year mathematics or your grade 12 i don't know i don't want to say anything but it's basically not intense mathematics like computer sciences otherwise that's it for me guys i hope this video was very informative i hope i answered the question that people were asking me yes you do need mathematics in computer science you do need mathematics there. um so yeah i hope you did subscribe to my channel and i hope to, that you will um like this video and give it a nice comment otherwise i'll see you guys on the next video bye